What is up Kratics? Welcome back to the series where I customize, review, past DLC and OG vehicles ever got the chance to because I didn't start making car customization videos till about late 2015. As always guys, let me know in the comments what car from late 2015 and older you want to see me customize next and I'll display the most liked vehicle suggestion comment in the next customization video. So in today's video, we're going to be customizing the Albany Emperor. This car is an OG vehicle that's been in the game since day one, and it is not available to purchase on any website. It's a car that you must find on the street. And personally, I haven't found a specific spawn point for it that works every single time, regardless of traffic spawns and time of day. So you're gonna have to get lucky finding one on the street randomly. However, if you are on next gen and you happen to know a friend that already owns an Emperor, you can buy it from them in the LS car meet, so that's always an option. Now I do want to mention right out of the gate here guys that this vehicle basically has no visual customization options, which is a bit unfortunate, but honestly, it kind of makes sense considering it's an OG car, especially since it's a sedan. But anyways, there are two variants of the Emperor. The first one is obviously the clean one you see here, and the second one is the rusty variant. Now the Emperor name was first introduced in GTA San Andreas and was also featured in GTA 4 as well, which is almost identical to the one we have in GTA 5. Now in terms of performance, the Emperor is in the sedans class and is the second slowest vehicle in that class, losing only to the Regina, which honestly is pretty funny. But anyways, in terms of what the Emperor is based on, it is primarily based on the 5th generation Cadillac DeVille mixed with the Cadillac Fleetwood Brome. But anyways, let's go ahead and check out the customization of the Emperor. What can we do to Alright, Emperor. Anything okay, we got do? armor, brakes, engine, skip the horn, lights, leave the yellow lights, or even though they're kind of white on this one. Okay. Uh, plates, black background, and I think I have a Cadillac plate. Yeah, there it is, Caddy. Perfection. Respray. So for this one, I do want to give it sort of like a custom paint job look, not really anything too plain. Um, now, if you're nostalgic OG GTA, uh, if you remember when Lamar the Airport, back when GTA Online, the introduction, um, his car was black with the uh, secondary and silver. And then when the contract DLC released, uh, his car was green with the black roof, I believe, and then white walls and uh, tires, which was pretty cool. Uh, but of course, I want to go different. So we'll do Chameleon, and I'm going to do the Anodized Red Pro. I think that color looks fantastic on this car. It really brings out the lines. I, mean, I think it's just a kind of custom look that suits it. And in all honesty, there should really be a Benny's variant of this car. I'm not sure why we never got one. This would have been a really good Benny's lowrider car. But anyways, Anodized Red Pearl. And of course, secondary is the roof. Um, now you can go a bunch of different ways with this. I, I really wish there would have been like a vinyl top option. Now obviously, you can sort of make it look like that by choosing black. But it still doesn't look like it. A vinyl top to me would have been a really cool option. Um, but I, honestly, I'm thinking of throwing the cream on here. I think it looks really, really cool. The white, I think, is too bright, and the black with the pearl kind of transferring to it. It does look nice, but I don't know. I think the the cream just looks really good on there with this color, so we'll do that. Got yeah, crumblum for this car goes in the hood. Suspension, yeah, let's lower it. Transmission, turbo, wheels. Um, so for this one, I do want sort of like a custom lowrider look. Um, so we'll go to a lowrider category. We're going to go to chrome. Um, and honestly, I do really like the, the flares. I think these look really, really good. So we'll do these. And let's see how they look with some white walls. Not bad. Not bad, honestly. I think that looks pretty, pretty good. Now, honestly, I wish we could have gotten... This is where Benny's would have come into play. Uh, a thin white wall, which is only available with Benny's wheels. But... I guess this is fine. Looking good. Um, continuing windows, black them out. Um, that's all the options there. I mean, definitely looks a lot better than how he started off stock. <laughs> At least in my opinion. Okay, exit to ground, take her for a drive. Oh, it's raining. 
but this car is slow anyway, so it doesn't really matter too much. First person here, just copy and paste muscle car interior. We're used to, even though those back seats look really, really weird with those headrests. Look like they're clipping through. Very strange. Um, but yeah, interior pretty generic for the most part. Um, again, it is a 2013 car, so it makes sense. Rev. It's very, very quiet. But you can hear that V8 in there. Very muffled, but you can still hear it. Now, these cars back then were super, super, super slow. That was when they had that um, emissions regulations and all that. And giant V8 cars that barely made any power. <laughs> so, yeah, sort of makes sense. All right, floor it. Rear wheel drive. We got some wheel spin because we're in the rain. But, I mean, this thing, it's literally one of the slowest sedans uh, in the game. It's, it's a very very slow car and it's fully upgraded and even fully upgraded it's still annoyingly slow <laughs> a lot of people ask what's my least favorite car in GTA this is one of them um, and the main reason is because of how slow it is uh, but more so the fact that it has no visual customization and when you combine those two slow and no uh, uh, visual customization I that's the reason why I don't really like it all that much. Uh, some people might disagree with that, but that, that's my reasoning. If it had some visual customization options, it would not be one of my least favorite cars in the game. But I mean, it's just so slow. I understand it's a cruiser, right? I, I, I respect that, understand that. But I mean, at least give it some visual customization. Something, anything. A hood option, a vinyl top option. Um, maybe some chrome upgrades, a couple different bumpers, and maybe one or two exhausts. That's it. You know, it doesn't have to be crazy, but something. Um, livery with pinstripes would be sick, too. This car just really needed a Benny's upgrade in general. But yeah, very, very slow. Drives like a boat, as you would expect. Tons and tons and tons of understeer. Um, of course, it's raining, so my opinion on this is going to vary, but... This is not a, uh, a car you, you drive around because of any remotely good handling or speed. It's something you drive around for, for cruising in. That's pretty much it. But, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and open all the doors and stuff. We'll pull into here. Still looks pretty good with this paint job, though. But, anyways, I don't think I've ever opened the, uh, the doors <laughs> on this car, so... I guess we'll see, well, by, I, I mean the hood and the trunk mainly, obviously I've opened the doors before, but you know what I mean. Uh, this option here, let's see. Okay. Hmm, this engine model looks a bit too modern for this car, mainly the intake manifold. Um, I feel like, I don't, I don't remember seeing this engine model on another car, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure there is, but it might be slightly different, but this exact one... I, I don't remember that. Pretty decent looking engine model actually, but it does not belong on this car. Um, and then underneath the texture quality is obviously of giant yikes, but you know, 2013. It's supposed to be like that. We already talked about the interior, you know, 2013 stuff. Um, that floor mat is huge. Why does it go more than, like what, halfway <laughs> that seat? That's interesting. I wouldn't work, would it? Because if you have normal tracks on the seats, I I'm 100% I'm overthinking this, but <laughs> it, th that floor mat is not supposed to be that large, um, unless it cuts around the, uh, the tracks of the seats. But anyways, uh, back seats, center console going all the way through, okay. The trunk, giant, giant trunk, my god. As it should be, <laughs> a car like this, the trunks in these things are huge. Very, very cool. Yeah, I mean, it's 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 a decent car. It just needs Benny's upgrades or just some upgrades in general to give it some life. Um, and it's just so darn slow. It really just needs a Benny's upgrade to be a little faster um, and, you know, all the good Benny stuff that it needs. Um, in its current format, would I recommend it? Probably not. No visual customization. Very, very slow. Um, really isn't anything special about it. I mean, yes, I guess it is Lamar's car, but not really anything else that I like about it, to be honest. But anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed. Remember to let me know down below in the comments what vehicle from 2015 and old do you want to see me customize next. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you. Bruh.
Ow. What? <laughs> what the heck just happened? What did that- what's that AI doing? <laughs> what the heck? Oh my god. Why is he so angry because I'm blocking the entrance? <laughs> what's he doing? He's driving through a cemetery at a million miles an hour. <laughs> what the heck is going on? I- 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 I don't know what happened. Uh... Okay. <laughs> well, thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> Let me finish this thing before I get run over again. <laughs> and I'll see you in the next one.